Good day and welcome to the Gulf News update for Sunday, November the 2nd. Here are the top stories at this hour. About 60% of teenage boys in Abu Dhabi schools are bullied one or more times during the year, compared with 50% in the US and 21% in China, according to a survey conducted by the Abu Dhabi Education Council. The survey reveals that nearly 40% of teenagers are also overweight, compared with 15% in the US. Billionaire entrepreneur Richard Branson has vowed to find out what caused his space tourism company's passenger spaceship to crash during a test flight in California, killing one pilot and injuring the other. U.S. investigators have said the test flight of Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2 on Friday was well recorded, giving them an abundance of information to help determine what caused it to crash in the Mojave Desert. Yemen's main political factions, including the Al-Houthi rebels, signed an agreement last night mandating the formation of a new government. Yemeni Prime Minister Khalid Baha will head the selection of the new ministers with consultation from President Abdurabbo Mansour Hadi. In Iraq, Daesh extremists lined up and shot dead at least 50 tribesmen and women in Iraq's Anbar province, officials said. Militants accuse the men and women of the Albu Nimra tribe of retaliating against them after being displaced from their homes when the group seized the Anbar town of Heath last month. Sport and Luis Suarez's home debut with Barcelona was spoiled by Celta Vigo last night. Joaquin Larive scored in the second half to hand the hosts a 1-0 defeat that let Real Madrid take the overnight lead of the Spanish league. Cristiano Ronaldo put Madrid at the top of the standings by scoring in a 4-0 win at Granada. The trailer for the new Fast and Furious film released over the weekend and it looks like the big cars, big crashes and beautiful women are back. Called Furious 7, the high-octane action film, which was partly shot in Abu Dhabi, will see Vin Diesel and his team of drifters set out to seek revenge for the death of their friend Han. The film is set to release globally in April 2015. And finally the weather, today's high across the UAE will be 34 degrees Celsius, dropping to 27 degrees at night. That's all for now, thanks for watching and as always you can get the latest news at gulfnews.com.